So, uh, Tomohiro Inoue, fifth in the Olympics last year. 2013 Asian bronze medalist. He got, uh, he got some red hair going on. I'm sorry, not in no way. Tricky arm spin there. That was actually Ji Hun Kim with the red hair hitting that uh, correct throw. Tim here in no way in the blue with the high socks. You know, baseball socks here. Korea, man, they don't do much, they don't do much freestyle. They do a lot of Greco. I gotta go back and film them. going to get hit with passivity. In no way was that a bad call. And <laughs> one, thing I, one thing I love about Kamte being live, ji Hun Kim, you see the uniqueness of Guy Styles. He kind of bops around, has this little shimmy to him before he engages. Uh, does a great job keeping his chin tucked. And every time that he kind of slides through trying to, to drag an arm. He, he bops in no way in the chin a little bit. Right right there, headbutted him. Judge, judge caught it. So, uh, Kim, not fun to wrestle, man. Watch the seat. Whips him with his chin there. Action on Kim. I really like the revival of the Japanese Greco program. We saw Shinobu Ota uh, make the Olympic finals. Kichiro Fumita win worlds this year. No way, as we said, very good. Now he's starting to slow Kim down a little bit after that early uh, arm throw where he went. Perpendicular. And a high dive there. I haven't seen a single high dive attempt. That's not true. We saw one kind of half high dive attempt before that one. But anyway, uh, Noe gets on the scoreboard here. Two to one now after the second pass in for Kim. And the thing I've noticed, both these last two matches, Korea significantly larger, significantly stronger. Japan, uh, very positionally sound and really not afraid to battle in the pocket. You know, Kim can throw him around like that, but it's not getting points out of it. So no towel down whatsoever for Kim. He's just gonna come back. Man, he is, he is very sneaky with his headbutts there. The, uh, first period. So remember, this is not an Olympic weight. Uh, previously it was 71. We saw Frank Stadler win 71. Here he's going to 77. And these two are gonna have to pick. I imagine no way he goes down. And clearly bumped into him there, but I imagine they're not going to call Lake foul because it's still, the flurry's still going on. So Kim drops him down for the, for the takedown, trying to go low gut and slide up the ribs. Another thing I like watching from the Koreans is the way, uh, the way they rotate their feet as, as, they, as they try to get guys off, up off the mat. They go feet outside, then feet in the middle, then back feet outside, then back feet in the middle. Their feet are constantly moving, readjusting, uh, kind of using that shin as a ramp. Roman Vlasov really kind of the, uh, the standard for that. Kim continue to push forward here. In no way Japan giving up on this one now. And tried the duck there. Double arms, Kim just kind of hanging that right hand. Thought about going headlock. 
they're gonna hit it no way for passive. So one for Kim, and there's the headlock. Bounces him off the map, but Kim rolls through. Classic folk style. Uh, no way wanted the. Now, I don't think you can call four there. I thought Kim landed. Now the issue is when he rolls through, did he go back to defensive position? I, it was kind of bang bang, so I don't think so. Now we're gonna get a replay of it. Uh, so right now the score is showing four four, and I missed the replay here. That's the first one anyway. So the score is showing four four with uh, Kim in the lead, and he hit his knees first, and then rolled through. I don't see how you can call that a four. Could of course be wrong. Been wrong before. Definitely can't be four to four though. Trying to keep an eye here on the head official doing the review. Going super slow mo here. It's got to hurt your knees, first of all. So there's got to be, there has to be two on the exposure because Noe never goes over. Kim then grabs the leg. Uh, Inoue's getting points. But let's see how it's for. And it looks like the third place match just ended. Jamel Johnson with the win. And they went four blue. Okay. I didn't see it. That's why they don't pay me the big bucks. So now it's got to be five to four. Yeah, five, okay, now it's up on the scoreboard, five to four. Uh, five to f Okay, five to four. Can't, right, because there's a passive right before that. Okay, so the scoreboard is correct now. You know he stayed in the pocket. seconds in the match here. Trying to dive hunter, switching off to that left arm. Now, in no way pointing in the head officials over here, making sure. And now it's saying six to five. So all kinds of scoring controversy. Rich Bender's getting involved. Chaos here. Uh, while we're waiting for, for this scoring to get straightened out, I want to thank you guys for joining me here. We're gonna have three straight di days of finals. Tomorrow morning, you're gonna have men's freestyle. Men's freestyle kicking off 61 kilos. Keep your eye on that. Field is uh, basically gonna be the world team trials. Uh, and okay, the score is now settled. In no way up 5 5 on the strength of that four pointer. So, once again, Korea, uh, Korea after dominating the first three matches and looking like Ryu was going to cruise to a win, now they're, they're down the last 30 seconds of the last two matches. And In no way is just standing there in the pocket taking it from Kim. Kim leaning hard. I'm surprised In no way doesn't try a snap here. I mean, he's just hanging on that left arm now. Kim really on his toes. In no way, so patient this entire match. And looking like he's going to take it. So get ready for the Japanese national anthem back to back.
I just got really excited for the Asian Championships this year. Should be very fun. Okay. Oh, so we had a 